So I arrived late last night into a Muscat Oman, so I'm going to see the sights. So I'm in the pool area of the uh, park in by Radisson where I'm staying. Uh, the temperature is gorgeous in December, beautiful temperature. Right, let's go and explore. Up I go. So here we are on street level, so I'm going to get a taxi to the Opera House, which is meant to be a beautiful building. So here's the Royal Opera House Muscat, meant to be a beautiful building, looks, it looks pretty good already. It's absolutely huge. And beautifully manicured gardens and flower beds. But yeah, an amazing building. Well, I've just been shooed away by a security guard. She told me to go away, I'm not sure why. So off I go. But yeah, beautiful building, the Opera House. Curum Beach, Q U R U M. So now we're going to move, drive along this road here <clears throat> to Mutrasuk. Uh, let's see if we can find some bargains. Just up to f further down, there's a the Crown Plaza. I remember this, I remember being here 10 years ago. Walking down towards the uh, estuary. Just looking into the mangroves. Angry, noisy birds. Look at the size of that bird print. Oh, there's my hand. Wow. got out near um, the Sultan's Palace. It's an amazing building, wait you see it. There it is, an amazing building. <laughs> Lots of little fort things around as well. been dropped off near Mutrasuk on the uh, Corniche. Um, really busy because there's a couple of cruise ships in town. So let's go in. I remember coming in here before but it wasn't as busy as this. But the smells are the same, spices, perfumes. These Amani daggers are popular, the curved daggers. Mm -hmm. 
So I think I'll buy a fridge magnet. There you go. One real. Two quid. So it's just full of like, touristy knickknacks, magnets, and uh, pashminas. Um, the sellers try to get you in, but they're not really, they're not hassling you. It's alright, it's alright. Yeah. We'll have some out. just made it to the other end. Just above street level, you get into the fort. So this is what the back streets of um, Muscat look like. Not quite as uh, salubrious as the inner core, but not too bad. It's got some uh, good mosques there, I like that one, and the dome and the, uh, the fort thing in the, in the background. I like how that shop's not even trying to dupe anyone. Good on them. So I'm back outside just wandering along, looking towards the uh, that minaret. So Muscat is completely safe. Tourists just walk about, no hassle at all. But I tell you what, it's expensive, very expensive. Hello. Hello. Taxi drivers there, trying to get me to go in one of their expensive taxis. Street cats hanging about. This last time I came, that geezer there is the uh, the Sultan. Shall I buy some more bananas? That's the question. I'm not going to buy any dates, that's for sure. And then into the fish market, these huge tuna. Come on the other side. The fishermen are all like repairing the nets and fixing the boats, getting ready. So we're trying to get up there. Already the view's looking good. So it's saying the Amonis first built it with the Portuguese added it in the 18th century. Definitely didn't come here last time I came. Cornish Cafe, ordered some uh, chicken kebabs. I'm absolutely starving. So this is what our money and money looks like. So there's 20, which is worth about 40 quid. It has to be done. Chicken kebabs. So I finished my lunch in the Cornish Cafe. It was all right, seven quid. Uh, I'm gonna walk along the Corniche now uh, until I get really bored and then walk back. Mountain scenery is what makes Muscat beautiful. So good to have all that around it. So there's all this section of seawall, not a single seagull, and then suddenly here they're all there. What's that about? So I'm back in the taxi and we're going to see the Grand Mosque, um, Muscat's best and the biggest ones. Drives a maniac. So here I am 
at the Grand Mosque. Look at that, huge. And a glorious building opposite the mosque. Right, let's see if we can get in. Every uh, way in is blocked, thwarted. Through the gates. Let's go back to the hotel. So sunsets here. It's about five o'clock in the evening. Just about over there, you can see. Waves are lashing against the uh, seawall. So yes, there we are. Night has fallen, I've just asked me to eat. The lights are coming on everywhere. So yeah, I've enjoyed my day in uh, Muscat. Well worth coming here. A nice slice of Arabia. So I'm just taking a walk down here, like a little pier, where you get little fishermen working. Um, but offers quite a good view here of the city. There he is fishing. So I've um, moved on to a shopping mall. Oh man has got many of them, Moscow's got many of them, so let's have a look at this one. There's a great mosque over there. Look at that. So this one's called Oman Avenue's Mall. There we go. Standard mall. It's a huge one. And this is a Lulu hypermarket. I remember these from when I lived in uh, the Middle East in Qatar. Yeah, Lulu. Named after the Scottish pop star, not. So I'm just in the uh, pool area of my hotel again, sixth floor. Gonna have a drink. Cheers for my man. So that is it. Good night and goodbye from Muscat, Oman. Oh